Yes, we're on the couch at the Music ACT Music Awards uh, with Ashley Farrell, who's just taken out the best house, techno and electronica. Electro, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those three, house, techno, electro. Electro, It's like yeah. getting three awards in one. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. How yeah. are you feeling? Great, great. I'm, I'm very excited and pumped, as you can hear yeah. by the tone in my voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who else was up for the award? Well, there's the Aston Shuffle and Picking Duck, so it's unbelievable that I actually managed to get it. But with the Aston Shuffle, I managed to join them together and, and yeah, managed to get an award, which is just, just amazing. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. And you've been on the Canberra scene for the last couple of years now, and you've been what, resident DJ at Academy. Me? That's correct, yeah. yeah. Many, many years, at least four years there. And yeah. a couple of other places were on the loungier tip, and like public shorties, la dee yeah. places like that. And yeah. you kind of transitioned from uh, DJing to producing? Yeah, that's right. So about two years ago, I, I started uh, actually producing my own music rather than just DJing mm-hmm. other people's songs um, and using lots of the talent that's in Canberra as well to be able to feature on that. And, and yeah, it's been going really well and resulted in, in this. Yeah. How do you think the music awards, like something like this, how do you think that it affects the um, music scene in Canberra? I think what it does is it provides a point of it knowing that it's a serious scene, you know, because people tend to think of Canberra as being very much a, a town, which which I guess in a yeah. sense it is, but it's a cosmopolitan town with lots of great things happening. Having awards like this just highlights that there is so much going on here. You just have to know where to look, mm. you know, keep your eyes open, seek out the talent that you're into, and it all exists here. It's just not as obvious as it might be in other places. So I think it just, it's a highlight. It's a highlight for how good music here is. Just going back a little bit, uh, can we quickly outline the difference between DJing and sure. producing? Yeah, I, I guess in the basic sense, uh, DJing is essentially putting together tracks or different music parts out of, um, I guess, the collection that you might have for a particular audience that's usually not your own. Um, so it's essentially being a, a jukebox in a sense, but doing yeah. that in such a good way that you're obviously playing to a crowd, to, to a particular scene and so forth, and making sure that everybody's happy. Mm-hmm. Production's more about essentially writing the music yourself. Mm-hmm. And whether you do it in collaboration with other people or completely on your own, it is something that you can call your own. You've produced that track. You can play that in a DJ set, but essentially it's it's your own. And you've had some of your own produced tracks played on Roy FM and yeah. uh, a few other um, bigger names like the Ashton Shuffle have actually played your music as well. Yeah, on Triple J, which, yeah. is, which, is, which has been great. I mean, yeah, it got picked up on a couple of times on Triple J and Earth and Triple J as well, which is which is just amazing. I mean, I've been like hanging by the radio going, there it is, there it is, you know, calling all my friends. Yeah. But yeah, no, some of the tracks have done really well in yeah, that respect. That's yeah. good. And you've got a single coming out at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Will We Ever Know, which actually features uh, Cam Nexon, um, that released probably about a month ago. Yeah. And, it's, and it's been doing really well, got into the charts which is really nice it got played on, on Triple J yeah. by the Aston Shuffle Boys and, and I've even heard it in a nightclub before when oh, wow. well, not played by me yeah. you know, so it must be really it's, exciting it's, it's amazing did it you, really did you drop a few moves when you when you heard it you no no I act extra cool oh really yeah I just watch people yeah. go did you like that track yeah, yeah. yeah. how did you, you do that yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly good play it cool yeah I like it smooth. precisely precisely you don't do it over the top you how know. are you finding it being a um, producer in a place like Canberra uh, it's actually no problem at all as a matter of fact the, the big advantage of, of Canberra is that it's small and very well connected so it's very easy to find people who know of other singers who want to be part of what you're doing or instrumentalists or whatever else there's a lot of people to bounce ideas off as well um, so it, in that respect it's a fantastic place. I mean, look at some of the names that come out of here. Um, and so I'm hoping that I can join those ranks, yeah. you know. <laughs> so it's good to see, like, I know that you did a lot of, um, tra- well, not training, but you did a lot of your musical kind of production and your DJing overseas and in Europe. And mm. and obviously it's a lot easier, I think, to get a bit of recognition in places like Melbourne or Sydney, where a lot of the bigger Australian producers come from. Yeah. So why why did you settle in Canberra? Did you see more opportunity here? Or? Um, you know what it's like. It's, it's a little bit that, I mean, obviously my parents came here and then had to join along and mm. hold on to the apron strings. Um, but I mean, uh, life in Canberra is, is actually surprisingly good in many ways. It's just a, a unique kind of life, so to speak. Um, and I don't, I mean, the barriers that Canberra provides, they're also many opportunities to that as well. You just have to know how to balance them out. And I mean, sure, you know, in Melbourne, in Sydney, there are plenty of people who I know who are in the music industry, which would be advantageous. Mm. But at the same time, there's a lot more competition too. Um, so I think it's all all measured. And I think if you truly believe what it is that you do, and hopefully are good enough at it, no matter where you come from, you'll probably get a good chance at, at making it big. Yeah. It's just just working hard, and I'm not afraid of that. So that's, oh, that's, that's okay. good. Mm. Yeah, it's good to see the dedication as well. Like, there's a lot of really good producers in camera that yeah. tend to get overlooked a little bit.
little bit and we've got a lot of talent here. Are there any Canberra producers or DJs or artists that you'd like to work with in the future? Oh my God, there's millions. But <laughs> if, I, if, if I say one now, then somebody else is going to get upset. No, <laughs> there's plenty and there's people here that, that I'm going to be doing collab collaborations with. Uh, also, every time one of my single comes out, uh, you have to get a remix package going. So I try to make sure that I've got a couple of Canberra artists on those as well, even though the label might be from, from overseas. It, it's that way of promoting, pr promoting the Canberra talent. So it's, it's, it's good. And I mean, there, there's stacks of people, but yeah, I'd rather not mention yeah. any yeah. specifically for, for various reasons. Understandable. And have, are you signed to a record label or a production label? Yeah, or? there's three labels that I, that I deal with and, and they put out my singles in, in different orders, but there's always room for more. Yeah. Yeah. Of so course. You know what it's like. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not like having three girlfriends. It's, it's nothing yeah. like that. Um, labels tend to be quite understanding of the fact that you'd be putting slightly different sound on different yeah. labels and it's about being true to them and as well as yourself. Um, but yeah, hopefully things will get bigger and bigger and we'll see how we go and hopefully after an award like this when I get to call the Aston Shuffle and say congratulations yeah. at the end of the conversation I can say so when can I do a remix for you yeah. and see what they say That'd if you're awesome. listening to that yeah. yeah lots of opportunities there exactly. I guess Exactly. Yeah, good. And um, what's sort of up and coming for you in the near future? Um, plenty of things. I'm, I'm working on two more EPs at the moment, uh, mm -hmm. which is which is essentially albums that have three or four tracks on them. Mm -hmm. um, apart from that, DJing just as much as I possibly can because it's it's always fun and yeah. it keeps you on, on top of the music that that's taking place mm -hmm. and you know what people are after, which is which is a great way of doing that. And then just keeping busy with just normal life, you know, mm -hmm. gardening on Sundays and stuff. Gardening on Sundays. <laughs> I love it. Tending to the roses. Well, you know, you yeah. have to relax sometimes, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Got to put your feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out to Pleasure. chat with us. It's been really nice to have you here. No problem. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ashley Farode. Hook on to Hooked on Weld.